Hi guys and good birthday uh, and uh, here's something not too different from uh, my usual re video responses in this case I've been tagged by a really really nice uh, Scottish guy which is uh, Monkey's Pass 5000 and uh, yeah as I mentioned uh, it's not yeah it's basically kind of a tag response basically not too different from video response in this case uh, yeah Monkey's Pass 5000 tagged me and uh, basically I have to answer three questions uh, Actually, not three questions, I think about five questions, actually. Sorry, five questions. And, uh, yeah, let's kick it off. First question is, uh, what game would you like to have boxed and complete in your collection? And uh, I can decide between uh, these two. Uh, they're my top most favorite games. Uh, basically, they are kind of contending for the top one. And that is... Uh, I probably you might actually do know it. Uh, you know it already from my comments, or probably I did mention it on my on my videos. And that is the Secret of Monkey Island and the Curse of Monkey Island. Now I can't decide between the two. Uh, probably, hopefully, I might say it in this video. Um, now I grew up with Monkey Island. Uh, yeah, I basically kind of was born in Monkey Island. I mean. It, you know, it came out in nine, 1990, same year as I was born. And uh, yeah, I started to play The Secret of Monkey Island at three years old. And then I remember reading about The Curse of Monkey Island back in 97 on PC Gamer. I was really, really excited about it. When it came out, immediately, you know, I remember my parents bought it for me and everything. So I was really happy. And uh, yeah, um, it's kind of say between the two. I will go for the curse of, not curse of Monkey Island, not not that one. I hate that one, that game one point, but I really want to get the Secret of Monkey Island. The Secret of Monkey Island is just a fantastic adventure, beautiful music, great humor, and uh, a great uh, insult sword fight. Uh, yeah, really, really, really fantastic. It's really funny. Not too sure if any one of you that haven't played the Secret of Monkey Island do get it. Uh, you can get it off um, on PC from a special edition, or you can get the original. If you got like a disc laying around, give yourself Scum VM um, and do play from there. It's a, it's just a great, fantastic point click adventure, and that's what I really, really want in my collection. Now, uh, what else is there to get? No, nothing else. Uh, probably that's a game that I really want in my collection. And uh, what else is that? Oh yeah, what's your fa favorite taste of potato chips? Now, I mean, live in England. I do get blasted off at work for saying chips instead of crisps. Uh, I do get confused with left and right anyway. So that's that as well. I get conf that as well. I get confused with it. And uh, yeah. Anyway, my favorite 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 favor potato crisps will be. Um, I can't decide between ready salted. Uh, I know it's bland. I do apologize. And uh, the chicken, uh, chicken flavor. Uh, you will get uh, roast chicken from Walkers or the roast chicken from Sensations. Let's go. Uh, a nice blend of herbs. Uh, I would go for the Sensations chicken because, as I mentioned, it's got a lot of herbs. It's like you're eating a roast Sunday roast, you know, with potatoes. Uh, all in a pack is just just a bite and uh, you get all the flavors kicking in and it's just fantastic um, I'll say that my least favorite is uh, salt and vinegar salt and vinegar is like mm, don't really like it uh, it's um, I don't like vinegar that's probably why it's just got that mm, pungent pungent smell and taste to it uh, but yeah even thinking about it my my nose is watering anyway um, yeah, that's my really my most favorite potato crisp flavor. Almost say chips. Anyway, um, what's the third question? Uh, the third question is, um, yeah, what was your most favorite location? Now, I got two mo most favorite vacations. Uh, one is with a family, which is uh, like a trip to, uh, to France from Paris to uh, Cannes really uh, let's go it that way it wasn't really can it was more villeneuve uh, which is a really nice uh, town but anyway uh let's start with it. anyway how the vacation started basically we visited paris you know, going through the different things and then uh, 
from there on we went to the countryside and it's just a fantastic place the french countryside um especially all the villages you know the um you know, like woods and uh yeah the mountains is just so fantastic um and yeah basically we end up basically yeah halfway you know halfway in a, in a village called Alec, um and uh we we stayed there for uh yeah for a night it was uh, this hotel was really like uh each room was separate like cottages it was just fantastic um i remember the show being really good and uh yeah it was a fantastic experience because i also going going to villeneuve it had its own its own beach and uh it, it was just warm weather and it was just fantastic summer it was um yeah um yeah that's what i really really love with the family and um what else is the yeah i uh, sorry second vacation or holiday uh would be once then when my brother my brother me my fr- my brother my friend and me uh we went to kos uh, in greece uh and uh the city yeah the town we were stayed in was uh, cardamina for a whole week it was uh just fantastic um really warm really could barely sleep at night however it was uh yeah went to about yeah M trip with the uh, quad bikes and everything and uh full of uh, a lot of uh party boys in there <laughs> really it was uh mostly com- yeah there were a lot of english people <laughs> if i remember not many greek but it was more of a t- tourist location anyway um yeah we had a uh, really really a lot of fun in there I spent a lot of uh very funny nights really good not funny strange but you know enjoyed enjoyable nights and uh what else is that oh yeah a l- probably location you may want to visit uh want to visit would be as monkeys pass five thousand said is the japan uh you know going to tokyo mount F- mount fuji and uh what else is there temples you know like all the woods uh yeah especially the temples you know going you know enjoying the culture seeing the culture you know experiencing it uh will be something that really uh, it's something that I really really wanted uh not just for because of animes or just games but because japan is such an interesting culture something really behind it, it um you know forgetting uh, all the weirdos <laughs> let's go that way but yeah japan i really want to you know see the culture see it uh my eyes uh and hopefully one day you know i'll get yeah i get the, the pleasure you know the honor of actually visiting it uh but yeah if japan i always wanted to see it yeah yes it's because of animes but also because of um shemu shemu would really really got me deep into japan you know really wanted to visit it thanks to that game is the best way to experience japan virtually like I mean, okay it's a small part of japan it's a really small part of tokyo um yeah i would recommend it if you haven't played it yet do get it get yourself null dc on pc and just download on the image whatever you want if you're going game download the image and uh yeah just play it 1080p <laughs> anyway yeah that's uh one of the doc- locations i want to visit and uh yeah the last question would be I think you want more than five actually now. Anyway, yeah, uh, last last question is what would you like to do before you die? Now what would I like to do before I die? It's a bit of a really difficult question, especially at this age. But what I really want to do is uh, play the solo of Salters of Swing. The same way Mark Knopfler plays it. Yeah. Right to master it. It's a fantastic song, it's a fantastic solo. Both solos, actually, uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully one day, or either that to play like Dave Gilmour, uh, David Gilmour, actually, sorry, uh, yeah, of Pink Floyd, and uh, yeah, Sultan Swing is by uh, Dire Straits, but yeah, and uh, as well as play like Dave Gilmour, especially showing you Crazy Diamond, hopefully one day I'll play like that, but yeah, that would be something to do before I die, <laughs> hopefully to add in my bucket list. But yeah, those uh, are my questions, and uh, I'm tagging uh, Ko- Koen Hazuki, uh, Lashurus, they always do the show together, so uh, kill two birds with one stone, or oh, yeah, get you two, two YouTubers with one video, there you go, and uh, the other one will be uh, either Infected Flinch, or 
by Max Venus. Um, he's one of my mates. He's a music producer. And uh, yeah, just putting all these uh, YouTubers links in down below. I know I should track three people, but if Effective Fringe doesn't do one, Max Venus would do one. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, so that's uh, all my questions, my taggers, uh, or my taggies. And uh, I sure hope uh, you enjoyed this video. I sure hope Monkey Spazzers uh, enjoys this video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.